and today, wait, we've been getting a lot of requests. Love the training, love what you do, but I have an injury. I have limitations. Why don't you demo something or discuss that? That's what we're going to do today. But listen, those of you that have been training for a while, I'm also going to share with you and, and explain to you the number one question that you need to be asking yourself if you want to keep that progress needle moving forward. But before we do that, a warm welcome to those of you who are here for the first time. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that little bell icon so that you don't miss any future content because you and I are both going to forget to do this. And also, very important, the number one free resource right now, if you're new to the cane culture or you want to become an instructor and you want to know how to better serve your audience, go ahead and text the letters CCC to 305-745-7839 and the team will schedule you in less than 24 hours and you will have a game plan in place so that you don't waste time, funds, and get frustrated with all the noise that is out there. So let's jump right into this. What is it really that you're going to need to start your cane training? And well, with the different, with different components to this, right? different components to this, we can talk about the canes themselves. Yes, obviously you're going to need a cane and this may surprise you, but you don't even need to start off with one of our canes. Uh, the cane that you're going to need is a cane that has what the layperson refers to as a J handle, right? Technically, so that you know this is the horn, this is the crook. You're going to need one of those. You don't want to go with anything that's derby style or anything that has a knob on it because you will severely, severely limit the potential of the tool for our purposes. There are today at least 11 different categories of canes. And so the question is always, what do I need that cane for most now? Am I just gonna get started with training? Because a training cane, if this is a player, boy, it's light, easy to maneuver. Um, you can uh, do everything, at least in our ACSD curriculum, all the way from leader to senior master. It's gonna be enjoyable. The only thing that doesn't have that quick release response horn, that's where self-defense canes come in. This is a Raven, for instance. This, well, yeah, this can collect DNA, right? Get you out of a mess with a quick release response. But then you have something like an ACB, which is a space economizer, which is a second component. What do I need in terms of space? Well, you're gonna have caters that cane outdoors. There's something about doing that out in nature. But, but if not, it's okay. We also have caners that are doing it indoors with a variety of things that they can break in there. So one of the things that we point out is that you need to do this, right, and make sure that this space here around you, you're not hitting anything or anyone for that matter. And don't blame us for that because we told you about it. This is an ACB32, it's an economizer. It's a shorter cane, easy to handle and saving, especially if you travel a lot these days, saving a lot of computer screens and a lot of mirrors because yeah, it occupies less space. Everybody drops the cane, so prepare yourself for that. And if you're not hitting yourself at some point with the cane, you're just probably not training, okay? So those are things to expect. But let's talk about what are the requirements in terms of physicality? And, and let, let me just be clear, this is, this is a fact. At ACSD, we have graduates of our leader, our leader is up front, foundational, program. it's the alphabet, the ACSD alphabet. This is where you first start off. We have individuals who ambulate with two canes, out of necessity. We have individuals who have had stroke and they, uh, one side of the body, they can only use one side of their bodies. Right, and so uh, a back pain. Uh, we have those that are, uh, you know, have expressed that they they're going through uh, chemo, right, and, and things of that nature, and a lot of times they're run down. Uh, we've had them where they need an oxygen tank to get around. So we don't attract athletes all the time. On the other hand, my view on it is, I never refer to you guys as seniors. You guys, to me, are vintage cane athletes, and don't forget, there's a reason why I say that, and that is because we don't nurture injuries, what we do is quite the opposite of that. We start, come as you are, and we start where you are. What we do, do in instead of nurture is circumvent around these limitations that you might have. So when we take a look, you express to us, this is what I can do, this is, we take a look, movement, right? So we are experts at seeing the way that you can move with this, and then tell you, hey, taking these ACSD principles, this is how you're going to do it. And for starting up, if you can step forward and backwards and take a step to the side, take a step to the side 
and if you have at least one of your upper limbs here that you can handle, not, not even, right? So maybe we have those who have been affected by stroke, for instance, and cannot use the other side of the body. That's fine. We got to get this side so good. Just like an athlete, right, a soccer player who you know only shoots with that left side. But he has refined that and he's gotten so good with it that your defense still can't stop him. He still scores on you. And so that's what you, what you need. And of course, you're going to need instruction. The step-by-step -step curriculum with a set of trained eyes giving you the support, the feedback, and the accountability. When you do it that way, then you're gonna find that your caning is a very enjoyable experience. It is a, it, it's, it's fun, right? You, you hear our caners talk about, it's so fun, it's so cool. Fun and cool never go out of style. I don't care how old you are, when you're getting feedback on results. Now, what is that most, and by the way, let, let, me, let me just demo here why I'm gonna remove this tip. Uh, come, come, come. Why is it, so I always like to give you a visual, why is it that if you can just walk and you don't need a lot of this, number one, it's not because we're so, so great. Yeah, we have the curriculum, but the tool creates leverage. And so at a distance, when you know what you're doing and you're keeping people in your 10 and 2 field of vision, see, I know he's over here. Go ahead and walk, 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 stop. He's out of my 10 and 2 field of vision. If he looks suspicious, I need to do a quarter turn. I don't have to do anything. Wah! And let and call attention uh, to, but I have to keep him here because all you're gonna take is half a step, half a step. Back off, no, back off, back off, right? Right? Those are power shots. That's why it doesn't require a lot of movement. It does require some coordination. It does require some level of balance. But we're going to start where you're at right now. Some of you are starting seated. But please don't miss this because it's important. Here it is. Ready? The most important question that you can ask yourself to keep the progress needle moving forward is what's next in the timeline of the training. What's next? I have this portion down. Now, I have this, but, but the legs aren't going anywhere. But are we doing anything to bring those legs back to life? Now, I'm not making any medical claims, and I do. I'm a licensed healthcare professional in the state of Florida. I, I'm, I come from that perspective, but I'm not making any medical claims here, so don't say, oh, he said. The, the spirit in which we're doing this is, can we get better? Can we get stronger? Can we improve in that balance? Not just where you are. You hear people talk about all the time, I'm just trained to maintain. Let me let you in on the secret. As you get older, we're all, as we get better, there's only one way to get better, is train to gain. If you want to train to maintain, you really want to train to gain. It needs to be progressive. And so once you go beyond this initial stage, what is next? and you've gone from moving in a straight line and moving backwards, right, so I can take a step back here if I need to. If he's coming from this side and I need to switch, I'm able to go ahead and do that. If he's coming from this side and it looks like he just uh, moves in, I have to be able to go ahead and do that. If I'm dealing with multiple attackers, I need to be able to keep them as much as I can in my 10 and two, feel the vision, so he's coming over here, the other one's coming in here, I should have the ability to move in such a way, right, these are things that you start working your way up to, but we always need to be able to answer what's next because what's next is going to be the ability to move perhaps high and low, right? More advanced concepts, not giving your full, right? A full square look, the ability to go ahead and kind of like we, we say, Joe, you have to be able to walk, talk, chew gum and cane at the same time. Cane training is brain training, there is a progression, but these are the things that you need to uh, start focusing on, and uh, the big word is, what we focus on is better movement, because there's nothing you can do. If it's self-defense that you're into, that's going to require movement. When you start moving better, you start caning better, you start living better. That's our approach, but you gotta you got get started uh, somewhere with this. That's how you do it. And notice that it's all mindset. Right, the mindset. You can sit there and say, oh, I can't, I can't, I can't, and keep using four-letter words. We choose to go ahead and emphasize, and guys, we're not speaking from theory. Do your homework. Do your homework, right? I always say you're, you will know them by their fruits. Look and see who um, is, is who, how people are getting uh, trained and where it is that they're going with this. So, guys, if you haven't done it already, go ahead and text the letters CCC to 305-745-7839. We can pick up this conversation, take it to the next level. 
but I wanted to give you a little bit because we've been getting a lot of that, hey, what about me? Where do I start? Come as you are. Let us, we're the experts. We're the trained eyes. Let us take care of the rest. But you have to make that initial, you have to take that initial step. Guys, thank you for watching. Keep caning and stay safe.